Copper is one of the key essential metals for achieving the internationally shared ambition of a greener, cleaner planet Earth. The new electrical era of the 21st century is ushering in a transportation revolution. After about 100 years of being stuck in neutral, electric vehicles again are the talk of the world's auto markets, with traditional manufacturing giants and upstarts rushing to introduce a new generation of rechargeable batteries and the first hydrogen fuel cells. A common objective is to set new performance standards and to move us closer to realizing the long-held dream of vehicles with zero harmful polluting emissions. One of the most significant enablers of this destiny is going to be the planned production of copper from the discoveries by Ivanhoe Mines at its Kamoa Kukula project in the heart of Africa's storied copper belt. Well, Ivanhoe began exploring uh, in the copper belt in 2004 recognizing potential to find some new deposits outside of where people thought all the deposits were, outside of the copper belt proper. And so there was a lot of surprise, uh, really disbelief, when in 2009 we announced the discovery of Kamoa as a major new copper deposit just 25 kilometers from Kowesi, which is of course the major mining hub here in Congo. And even more when in 2015 we announced the size of the deposit as really one of the largest deposits ever discovered in the, in the African continent. We continue to explore to the south and southwest uh, within the mining license, and we have a 400 square kilometer mining license. And we're successful in discovering a new zone of mineralization. Uh, it was announced initially in 2016, uh, in the early part of 2016. Uh, where we announced two of the largest, highest grade intersections that had ever been found on the Kamoa mining license. And of course that's subsequently gone on to become uh, the Kakula resource, um, which is just astounding. What sets Kamoa Kakula apart from the rest of the deposits on the Congolese copper belt is its size and its continuity. And the fact that it's a sulphide deposit produces a very clean, high quality concentrate. We've drilled over a thousand drill holes on this deposit. We know this deposit. Even with Kamoa as good as it is, Kakula stands out as being unique. It shares many characteristics with Kamoa, but it stands out in its continuity of both the geology and the high grades. They're exceptional. It's shallow. The high grades start at 250 meters. Uh, it's much thicker than Kamoa, up to 15, 17 meters in places. Uh, it can be a lot flatter, very gently dipping, and it has exceptionally high grades. At a 3% cutoff, the indicated resource contains 66 million tons at over 6.5% copper. That's a large continuous zone of high grade containing 9.6 billion pounds of copper. In addition, there's 27 million tons at 5.26% copper in inferred, containing 3.2 billion pounds of copper. At Kakula, mineralization is dominated by chalcosite which is 80% copper and which can produce high concentrates. Well, within the thick mineralized zone, the high grades are concentrated towards the base and they gradually decrease going up the hole away from the contact. And what this allows is a significant flexibility uh, within the mine plan. So as the market changes, you can also adjust the mine plan. Um, so basically within this, you can select a thin high grade zone, which you could mine, or you could opt for a thicker, high tonnage, lower grade option. With the initial resources at Kakula now being established, we are now looking at uh, evaluating the technical and uh, infrastructure options to fast track the development of Kakula. Given the fact that uh, Kakula is a significantly high grade uh, copper resource compared to any other area in Kamoa, we strongly believe that by fast-tracking its development, it will add a lot more to the economics of the Kamoa Kakula project. We started construction in 2014 of the box cuts and was successfully completed by a local company from Lubumbashi. Burn Cut now is the mining contractor, is doing development of twin declines 
and is doing good progress. What we've discovered at Kakula is more than just significant. It's absolutely game-changing. We believe for our company and also for the DRC as a country. So what have we got? We've got the highest grade, largest deposit discovered in Africa and potentially in the world. We believe as custodians of this ore body, we need to manage it responsibly. We need to capitalize it adequately, but also in a responsive manner and manage what we believe will be uh, strategic supply gaps coming in the future in the copper mining industry and in, in global supply. The continuity of the geology and the high grade at Kukula still astounds us. And it was this continuity that allowed us to declare a mineral resource after just six months of systematic drilling. Kukula is still a very early stage exploration program. But it's testament to the uniqueness of Kukula that we are already able to consider preliminary mining studies on a 20 year mine plan. We continue to test expansions at Kukula. We've systematically increased the number of drill rigs. We're testing both the southeast and the northwest extensions, and we're doing infill drilling uh, inside of the larger step out holes that we've done. Our step out holes have lengthened the Kukula discovery by 1.6 kilometers, that's 40%, uh, to at least five and a half kilometers long. And some of the recent results are very encouraging. Uh, DD 1093. 11.1 meters at 5.8 percent copper. Uh, DD 1080, four and a half meters at eight and a half percent copper. DD 1065, 6.2 meters at 6.4 percent copper. And what is really encouraging about these results, not just the high grade, not just the thickness, but we're seeing the same uh, geology sequence, we're seeing the same mineralized siltstone at the base that we're so familiar with from the initial discovery area. So we are still yet to find the end of the Kukula area. The mineralized zone is extending. And in addition to this, we've identified targets in the Kukula vicinity that we've now begun drilling. It's a very exciting time to be working on this project.